Hey you guys, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am in the parking lot somewhere right now and I'm getting ready to pull everything out of my van so I could try to check on a couple of things and just get some stuff situated and organized. So I'm just gonna pull everything out of so, the van. Uh, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I just came from the shower. I just got through eating. I just got through taking my vitamins. You should see that in the video before this one. So uh, it's going on 3 p.m. But hopefully I got two hours of daylight to get this van. I keep spitting. I don't know why. Um, I guess my mouth is salivating from the food I just got through eating. Uh, but I got about two hours to get everything out the van and put it back in before dark. So let me do that now. Okay, you guys, I pretty much got all the big stuff out of here. I still got a lot of little stuff and paper on the floor to get out of here. I think I'm just going to take this stuff and throw it in the sheet. Uh, I need to take this thing off, this silver thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, I need to take this off because all of my... when I'm driving everything has just I guess I must have hit a hump or a curb or something and everything just came up Missing another thing right there. And this thing right here is what I was telling y'all about. This thing right here on my side, right here, it then came all the way up. It had nails in it, holding it up there. The knot then came all the way up. So if I want that back on there, I'm gonna have to go get some glue and glue it back on there. So I got some more stuff right here that's in my way. I'm gonna pull this stuff out of the van and we're gonna take a look at this. I think I might have some kind of glue that I can put on here to stick this up here. Uh, but let me finish getting this stuff out the van, y'all. Okay, you guys, this is the side of the stove where that thing broke loose it and so I need to sweep and clean this up and it looks like like uh I don't know is that mirror or trash that gets under there so whatever I do I need to make sure I caulk around this really well so I'm just gonna sweep this up and get some soap and dishwashing liquid and some vinegar and clean back here really, really well before I decide whether or not I'm gonna replace this thing and put it back here or if I just leave this uh, open. So I'm gonna clean it out and then I'm gonna decide what to do. 
what I'm gonna do before I decide if I'm gonna put this thing back, I'm gonna see how this stainless steel thing fits on top of my stove. Without this thing being on the side. I think it did give it something to rest on. When that was over there, it gave it something to rest on. But I don't know if that's why it was moving. And that's why I made it come apart. I don't know. But I really didn't want to put this thing on here like that but I don't have any other choice now since I have that refrigerator like that and the only other choice I have is to put it that way and I can't put it like this because this is too long and I won't be able to open that thing I would have to get this cut down if I want to put it like this over here, I wonder if I can get to make this raise up. Let's try to see if it's not that, if it ends up, if I get it shortened. Let me be able to raise this thing up. Let's see if I can get it to that point. I think I will be able to stand it up when I'm not using it back here. But I like having this on top of here, y'all, because I could sit stuff on top of here. But now I don't know if I want to add this thing back on the wall. This stays more fit and secure on here when I turn it this way. some little hooks or something. Keep this thing from moving when I'm driving. I don't know if I need this thing back over here. Figure this out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean it first and figure it out. I'm probably gonna end up having to stay here. Ooh, that wind is blowing through here. Feels good. Letting it air out real good. I love when I can sit in the van and open my back doors and my front doors and just let the wind blow through here. I don't know if I should put that. I don't know if I should put that piece back on here or just leave it like this and cock it. Let me know in the description box below. Do you think I should put it back on here? If I don't put it back on here, that gives me a little room over here to put some other stuff. If I don't absolutely positively need it there, but it just makes it look a little nicer 
to have it there, but it don't need to be there. It wasn't serving a purpose. So, I'm going to clean this some more, get my Brillo pad, and clean this off. Okay, you guys, I cleaned up back there, cleaned that off. Uh, I have my water up at the top right now. And so now I'm about to sweep the floor in the van. I done pulled everything out. So I'm gonna sweep and mop the floor the way that I used to do it. You know, just sweep this whole thing out every day. Every day you gotta sweep this thing out, y'all. It's a part of the process. You live in the smallest space, you got to clean it up more often. Make sure everything stay nice and neat and clean. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, you guys, I just got through cleaning the floor. The whole floor in the van is clean. I'm just waiting on it to dry. And then I'm gonna get in here. I got a few changes that I want to, or improvements, not changes that I wanna make to the van. I want a doormat right here, but the doormats that go this way and say welcome, it's gonna be this space is not going to be wide enough, so I need something that can go the long way uh, that don't have words on it. I seen something at Ross or Marshalls that I think I'm going to get. Also, this right here, this kind of wood is just peeling and chipping off. So I want to change this out. I'm going to go to Home Depot and see if I can find some kind of molding that's thick enough to put there. And... So I need a doormat. And that way when I'm somewhere, uh, I could also take the doormat out and put it on the ground. So, but I wanna change this out soon and get a doormat. So I might go shopping for a doormat today. But this is pretty much dry. And uh, also I wanna paint my toilet. I want to paint that another color. Okay, y'all. I just got through mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, and mopping the floor in the van. And I was about to let that be through, be it. But I forgot. Uh, I like to also come back over it afterwards with some pine saw. I have some pine saw. So I'm about to go back over it with some pine saw because I just like the way that smells. So that's what I'm about to do now. So right now what I'm doing is bringing stuff back in the van. I've been having these little rugs. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these rugs. I got my little gray blanket that I need to fold up and put in here. And I'm probably gonna have to find somewhere to put my rugs or something to do with my rugs uh, but I just cleaned the floor off swept and mopped it real good mopped it twice with just water and dishwashing liquid and then mopped it again with some uh, some pine salt so I got my two little crates in that I sit on with some cushions on top of them so I got some more stuff to bring into the van. So tonight, if I decide to go live, 
um, everything should look nice and neat and clean in the van tonight. If I, I know after dark, I'm still going to be where I'm at. I'm going to just stay here till I finish. Even if it's dark, I got a light and everything and I'm not worried about nobody coming back here and messing with me. So, um, let me finish putting everything up, y'all. Okay, so I am going to fold up this little comforter. This is my quick go-to comforter when I'm a little chilly. It's the same as the uh, yellow one that I made the cushion out of. And I might end up making a fitted cushion for my mattress. I might use this to make a cushion for my mattress to take it on and off. And the uh, part on that thing where it opens and closes it, I am going to take some Velcro and sew it on there. I was gonna try to put some buttons or something on it. And I was like, hmm, let me. Let me just put Velcro on there. So, I need to find some Velcro. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or if I feel like going tonight. I don't know if I wanna go shopping tonight or just chill out in the van and finish organizing and situating stuff. But I really want everything to get to being cozy and comfortable in the van. So I got to make the time to do it. And Rome wasn't built in a day and I'm working less. Even though I'm doing something every day, I'm actually working less hours, it feels like to me, because uh, of the time change. Because of the time changes. Less time to do stuff because I like to do it in the daylight. But anyway, I folded this, rolled it up. Let me put it in this thing. Now one of these rugs, I'ma just fold down. And the side over here. just make that look like that cute I got a flower that is on the outside I didn't know where I was gonna put it but I think I'm gonna stick it down in here so let me get the this flower. was a pretty flower that I found when I was dumpster diving just a single little flower and I was like oh I, anytime I see a little single flower uh, and it's green. I'll go ahead and get it. Because I think I can. I'll be thinking that I could do something with it. And oh, look at that. Voila. I could raise it up a little bit. And voila, there it goes. And if I find some other little stuff, I could just stick it in here and make it a little decorative. So, 
I just, you know, I'm living in a small space, but I can still do little things to make it look cozy, comfortable, and beautiful and decorative. I think this rug right here, I might use to, I can also take the rugs and throw them over my pillows that I'm sitting on, the cushions, and just use it as a decorative piece to sit on there. So I might do that as well. Just make everything functional. That wind coming through here is really airing out the van. It's good to open up your van, back doors, side doors, and front doors, put the windows down every now and then and let the wind come through. Ooh, we got something moving on the ground out there. I think this is my paper. Okay, you guys, I am through cleaning up today. I got everything in the back of the van out of here that doesn't need to be in here. And uh, that's my water bottles in the black thing, which can go on the floor. But like at night, if I want to put it up on the thing, I could put it up there. I got my water up there. Whenever I drive, I put the water bottle down. I'm trying to figure out another water bottle solution or another water solution. Uh, I'm probably going to work on that tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to do everything I wanted to do today. That is my gym bag, which can also go over there. And this right here is my crate that I also use as a seat. And I have a seat cushion on there and I just got the rug thrown on top. I could throw it on top and sit on there if I want to. And I'm sitting on one right now. I also got this little blanket right here that I got from dumpster diving. It really don't go, the yellow goes with the decor, but not the other colors, but it's a nice blanket and I like it. And it kind of covers this stuff up right here. So I got that just laying right there. And on this side, I got my toilet, my portable toilet. I'm gonna uh, either spray paint this or get a piece of cloth and cover this up. I think I might get a piece of cloth and cover it up. It'll be easier. And then I have this right here and my blanket and the other little rug. So I just have that right there, you guys. And I'm sitting on the other crate and now I just need to clean this section up and that's pretty much it. So yes. I made some progress today. I didn't think. So you guys, when I got around to where I wanted to clean out the van today, I didn't think I was gonna have enough time to go through everything and throw away stuff and sort through stuff because it was three o'clock already by the time I got over there. So by the time I got over there, it was three and a half the day was gone already. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to get through with this, but I'm at least trying. And then if I don't get through, I'll just stay around there till night falls. But I got through uh, before dark, uh, which is good. I got through before dark. I moved from that location and now I'm somewhere else. And I'm just going to work on getting this right here uh, cleaned off. And I got a couple of little containers down there with stuff in that I need to figure out where that's gonna go. And then tomorrow, what I'm gonna work on is my seat cushion, finishing off the seat cushion, cause it's not finished. Finishing off the seat cushion, sewing the Velcro on there, and I might get to something else tomorrow, who knows? But when I finish that seat cushion, I think the van is gonna be like where I could start back cooking in it. And then I need to figure out my water thing. So I I could do the seat cushion anytime. I might wait on the seat cushion and do the seat cushion Saturday. And tomorrow I might try to figure out the water thing because the place where I would go get the water thing from, I don't know if they're open on Saturday. So I might need to like swap them around 
I could work on the seat cushion anytime, but the water thing, I need to go there when they are open, which I wanted to go today, but I didn't make it. And I wanted to go get my tires rotated today, but I didn't get a chance to go get my tires rotated today. Uh, but I'm getting up earlier and earlier every day. So eventually, hopefully I'll make it to getting up at six in the morning, going to the gym, taking me a shower, and by seven or eight, I've been to eat some breakfast and I'll be ready to start my day. And um, I'm trying to get everything situated, y'all, because I don't know if I'm gonna go out of town for Christmas or at least go somewhere different than Houston for Christmas. I don't know if I'm gonna want a different scenery. I'm probably not gonna go to where water is because who wants to go to a beach? during Christmas time. But then you probably would have the beach to yourself. I don't know you guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions for nearby areas in Houston or in Texas to go for Christmas, let me know some places that you think would be nice. A lot of people like to go to Galveston around the holidays to go to Dickens on the Strand. I don't know if they still have Dickens on the Strand in Galveston. I was I uh, went there years ago to Dickens on the Strand. I think I was in my 20s when I went to Dickens on the Strand in Galveston. Uh, but I'm about to tackle this stuff before me and hopefully get this thing cleaned out. This is the hardest place for me to keep clean because I just throw everything right here. But I want to work on stop doing that. Stop throwing everything right here. So that's the hardest place for me to keep clean is this little place. Because this is my catch-all. So I'm going to work on this. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys. I just got through editing a few videos and I am through with this vlog for today. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Don't forget to press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell, hit always, and be sure to come back for another video. It is a little cool, you guys. Uh, I'm in the van right now and let me, I'm going to turn y'all around before I end the live and tell y'all what time it is. Uh, I had to put on this jacket earlier when I was cleaning out the van and it's a little chilly. Um, I still need to clean this area off in front of me and I got some stuff on the floor I'm going to do, but I'm going to end this live and or in this video and make it another video because I want to turn on my stove and warm up make me some hot chocolate and just take a chill pill and also i'm gonna add some stuff to my amazon wish list you guys for my birthday bash uh i want a tea kettle and the little rubber mat that you put on the counter uh for the pots and the pans so i'm gonna add a few more things to my Amazon wish list for my birthday and for Christmas. So uh, if you guys don't know, I am born on Christmas Day and I'm having a birthday, Christmas birthday bash on Christmas Day. I'm gonna unbox all the gifts that you guys send me. So uh, if you wanna send me something for my birthday, you can, and for Christmas, you can. My address, my PO box, my cash app, my Amazon wish list, everything is going to be in the description box below. So that is it for me for this video, you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching. This is Vanessa's Van Life Journey. I am in my van and I'm living in my van, trying to clean out the van, trying to get everything organized and 100% okay. So I'm working on something every single day. That's why I have multiple videos in the same clothes because I'm doing different tasks. The video will be too, 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 too long. I want to give you an extensive view of each task. So I just make separate videos of each task that I am completing for that day because I am doing a lot in one day, you guys. So 
anyway let me know what you think about this video in the comments bar below let me know what else you would like to see me get ready to do as soon as i start getting the video the uh van organized you guys i'm gonna start doing manicures self-care days facials uh i'm gonna start doing my makeup miss joanne wanted me to do makeup videos uh i'm gonna start dressing up and going out to places and looking like a human <laughs> soon okay you guys i'll talk to you later bye now thanks for watching